What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. It has been over three weeks since I made my last cooking video, so I'm pretty excited to be doing a cooking video today. Today, I'm going to be making some oven-roasted chicken thighs with one of my favorite sauces, which is the cream of chicken with herbs and an onion, a Lipton onion packet. I'm also going to be making some brown rice. Now you guys have probably never on this channel seen me make brown rice before, but I had this and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. I do much prefer white rice, but I've had this a minute, so we're gonna use it. You're gonna have to excuse the noise. They are doing some work around me, but I still wanted to make a video. Now I'm going to be making that brown rice in my rice cooker, so that should make things a little easier for me. All right. So let's get started. I'm just gonna fix one cup of this brown rice because I don't even know how I'm going to like it. So I'm not gonna fix a lot of it. I'm gonna go ahead and run this over to the water and rinse it off right quick. All right, this takes uh, one cup of brown rice, takes two cups of water. All right, everything is set. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. All right, we all set. I'm gonna sit that right here so I can have the rest of my space to do my chicken with. I bought some new multivitamins. This is a Centrum uh, for men over 50. All right, now that the rice is on its way, let me get going on some vegetables. I'm gonna have a, a red bell pepper, and an onion. I did buy a knife sharpener, so I sharpened up my knife. Thing. 
it does uh, cut a lot better. So I better be careful. Let's see how much this makes. I think I'm gonna use the whole bell pepper. It's been really quiet here on the campground since the weekend is over with. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this bowl right here. Then I'm gonna get to working on this onion. That might be enough. <clears throat> All right, I think that's gonna be enough. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be enough. It looks about the same ratio of bell peppers and onions. All right, now what I need out of here is this. And I can't find, whoa. Oh, I thought you saw it. I'm making a video, just to let you know. <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> you scared me, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be using this cream of chicken with herbs and one packet of the Lipton up on onion mix. <laughs> that was David and his dog, Zena. Ooh, 
that came right out. <laughs> that came right out. There we go. Oh, that is out. Now I gotta get my whisk, which probably is at the bottom of this egg on thing, because I haven't used it in a while. Where is my whisk? Gonna add a little bit of water at a time. I was gonna use chicken stock with this. I think I will. Help to give it a, a little bit more flavor. Now, sometimes it can be a little tricky finding the right consistency for this. Because you don't want it to be watery. Because you want it to be like some juice. I want it to be like a sauce so that it's enough to put over top of the rice. Okay, I'm gonna go with a little bit more. Now the last thing I'm gonna do to this is add a little bit of seasoning to it. This is gonna be onion powder and garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Well, <laughs> it might not be a little bit, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know me and the pepper. And I'm just gonna start adding some different stuff in here. This is the uh, Trader Joe's Everyday Blend. And I'll add some of this uh, parsley in here. This is parsley. And I'm looking for that other Trader Joe's blend, the 24 season one. Well, since I pulled it out, might as well do some paprika as well. leave you right there because I'm gonna need you for now where is that uh I I I I'm too short all right just forget it I'll give this a nice mix Alrighty, 
We're gonna set that right there. And next thing we're gonna, okay, where's my top? Okay. The next thing I'm going to get into is the chicken thighs. All right, I have four chicken thighs. Now, unfortunately, they did not have the boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I used to, I'm used to getting. These are uh, chicken thighs that have the skin on and the bone in. So that might just give me a little bit more flavor since I'm baking them in the uh, oven. I'm gonna go ahead and put some paper towels down so that I don't have to do a lot of cleaning. All right, let's get these chicken thighs out. Now we're gonna go ahead and season up these chicken thighs. Starting off with some salt. Some pepper. Paprika. Garlic powder and onion powder. All righty. I think that's all I'm gonna put on here. Yeah, and now let's flip them over and do the other side. Paprika. Work it out. There we go. Trader Joe's. All right. There it is. And look what I have, <laughs> ta-da! After I fixed those um, stuffed peppers and I didn't have anything really to put them in, to put in the oven and cook, I went ahead and bought me a nice small casserole dish, has a lid to it, and I'm so excited to use this. All right, where's my dish? I wonder if I need to put some um, cooking oil in here, some cooking spray. Well, I guess it's better safe than sorry, right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this little casserole dish here. I hope all four of them can fit in here. It looks like they will be able to fit in here. Alrighty. 
Just add in the trash. Let me situate these in here. Because they are going to get smaller as they cook. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> all right. All right. Look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Look good. Coming along. All right. Now I want to take my little blend here. Pour that on the chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Now this is going to probably be, be way more than what I need. I'm not going to put all of this in here because then it's just going to be way too much. It's going to crowd the uh, casserole dish up and I don't want to do that. Because, because eventually that's gonna soak down and go to the bottom it's gonna make some juices and oh my goodness and the last and final thing that I want to add in here is some broccoli I came this close this close and buying some carrots <laughs> I don't want no big chunks in here. Look at that, look at that. Okay, a little bit more. No, no more. No more, Anthony. Stop it, stop it, no more. Okay, I'm gonna put some pepper on top. <laughs> Woo, look at that. My first little casserole it's not a casserole but my first bacon in the oven meal all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and let this oven heat up come up to temperature and then i'm gonna put this dish in there and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys the temperature is about this much from 350 degrees so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in there Hopefully this will not get up to like it did before 500 degrees and this chicken cooks so quick. Uh, I hope it takes its time and stay around the 350 raw. Um, I think it will because it's not a full canister uh, in there, uh, butane canister. So it should relatively stay around that temperature. Now I place my rack on the second from the highest up so that it have room for me to sit this right in there. Just like so. Now I need some assistance so I don't burn myself. Now I have to watch this door because sometimes this door pop open and I don't even know it's open and I'm losing all my heat. But anyway guys, I'm gonna put that in there for one hour 
and then I'm going to take the top off of it and put it back in there for another 30 minutes. So we're looking at an hour and a half for this meal to be completed. By that time, the rice should be done. I know it will be done by then and we shall be good to go. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a quick look at this brown rice. I don't even know how brown rice is supposed to look. I don't know if this is overcooking it or whatever. I just hit the brown rice button and I'm assuming that it's going to do what it's supposed to do for the amount of time that it's supposed to do it in. Okay, you guys tell me. Is that what it's supposed to look like? It's a good thing that I check y'all because the temperature was going down and I look and I check the canister and the canister is empty. Now I'm a little worried because this is a new canister. The fire is gonna be high. I think I'm just gonna lower the fire. Cause I don't want this bad boy to shoot up to 500. So I'm gonna keep an eye out on it. Yeah, it dropped down to under 200 degrees. I was like, uh-oh, that canister must be empty. All right, so now it's gonna get back going up, get that temperature back up and finish cooking this meal. All right, with that new uh, can in there, that new can of uh, butane in there, this thing is at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that chicken out and test it and see, you know, the tenderness of it or see, try to get an idea of how much longer it has to go. Because with temperatures that high, this chicken is probably cooking much too fast than what I would like it to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out right now. Oh, I gotta get some gloves. These were sent to me by one of you guys. Okay, the rice is done. Oh, I should have said keep it on warm. Yeah, we'll keep it on warm. I'll sit that right there. Take a look at it. It's definitely, definitely soft. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Get off of there. I think while I have this open, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more sauce on there. Let me hurry up and get this back in there. Get this back in there. Temperature went back up to 300. I mean, went down, I should say, to 300, which is a good thing. 
right. <laughs> Good thing I looked at it because I would have had it in there all that time and the can ran out. <laughs> the temperature just would have been like zero and my food wouldn't have got done. But anyway, whoo, looking good, looking good. The rice is done. Yep, on our way. All right, guys, I took it out of the oven. I let it cool down just a little bit because it was really, really hot. And man, oh man, it smells so, so good. Let me give you guys a look at it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but man. Okay, you probably can't see it, but trust me, it looks and smells delicious. Woohoo! I don't know what this is. All right, I'm about to plate this up right now. I'm about to plate it up. Let me get some rice on here. Please let me like this rice. Take your fork and break the rice up. Ooh, get some rice on there. Oh my goodness. Let's get some broccoli on there. Ooh, this plate is hot. Oh my gravy, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to bring y'all down just a little bit closer. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna sit this over here. Oh my goodness. Let's go over here. All right, guys. I am so super excited. I'm not even going to waste any time. I'm about to just dig into this because this looks so amazing. I'm just hoping that this is a wowser meal because it's been a long time since I had a wowser meal. But I'm about to get in there now. Wasting some rice, Anthony. <clears throat> Remember, <clears throat> I haven't eaten brown rice and probably only twice in my life. I can tell, I can definitely tell the difference between brown rice and white rice. Wowza, look at that. 
Rosa. <laughs> Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> now I haven't eaten. Let me back y'all up some. I'm all up in y'all grill. Okay, that's a, that's a lot better. I was all up in y'all grill. Ah, uh, now I haven't eaten chicken with the skin on it for a, a very long time. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> wowza, wowza, wowza. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta learn how to eat chicken with a bone on it. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. This is saying something, y'all. Mm. Yes, indeed. This is saying something. Slow down, Anthony. Slow down. Mm. Woo. Don't tell me I got to bite the rest of this. This is so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Chew and swallow, Anthony. Chew and swallow. <laughs> that was so refreshing. It's the um, crystal light. Peach, peach tea. Ah, so refreshing. Time for me to get in there now, boy. I'm about to put these dentures to work. Man. This chicken is seasoned to perfection. Oh my goodness. 
I kid you not. I'm not lying. And y'all know how I feel about lies. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and I can't fly. Mmm. Let's get into this second piece. I saw how easy that was to cut. Okay, in all fairness, I did just sharpen my knives. <laughs> in all fairness, I did just sharpen all my knives. I could use just a tad bit more pepper on top, but we're gonna leave it alone since I'm almost finished. I eat fast, don't I? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Right. All right, guys. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness. I'm back. I'm back. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this little bit left, and then that's going to do it. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. I'm going to get this video edited and out to you guys today. But anyway, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And man, oh, man, I feel like I redeemed myself with the cooking videos. <laughs> I'll see you guys the next time.